Okay, so today I'm going to be seeing if I can run my welder off my generator. This welder right here is a PowerArt 160i STH. My generator is a Predator 8750. I wrote down all the important information out of both manuals as far as what they max out at. And the generator maxes out at 29.2 amps. But if you multiply this, that's 7,000 watts. So that's the run amps. That's the startup. This is for the welder. Okay, so the max startup amps is 28.8, .8, which is still less than this one's run amps, right? Like what it could run at. On the machine, it says 29.2 max. Anyway, I was just pointing that out because I just wanted to show that I did my research to not have too big of a welder for the, for the generator and all that. Okay, so I also got this plug. It's an adapter plug for an L14 30 amp plug to a 50 amp receptacle, the N650R, the 50 amp plug that everybody uses. The machine only draws to 30 amps, so this should be fine. Uh, well, do this at your own risk. I'm about to do it, and I'm going to just keep welding with it. All right, let's get started. All right, I got everything set up. Got my generator out there. Got my welder right here. And right here, first I'm going to start out by welding this 8th inch plate real quick. And then I'm going to do some quarter inch, a T-joint on some quarter inch. I don't, I, well, I dipped my tongue in three times, and that's about as far as I got. All right, here goes the quarter inch I did. I messed up the end a little bit, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and lay another bead at about 160 amps, and I'm going to use the big wire, 100 uh, eighth inch wire. So this is what I came up with. It's not even flush, <laughs> or it's close to flush. This is the eighth inch material. You see it did go all the way through. This is the back side. Okay, what happened was my puddle would get too big and I, I, I couldn't put enough filler in fast enough. And then I stopped and started like kind of pedal bumping it and, and slowed it down. And that actually, I would almost say penetrated too much. And on this one, I'm just going to run another beat over to get it up above flush Okay, so this is what the weld came out like. 
it was one pass with 332nd and then a second pass with 1 8th except for like right there that little end doesn't have the second pass I just stopped right here because I mean whatever so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to do a cut and etch on this I've never done that before so I don't know if it's gonna work we can at least look at the side profile if anything whatever this piece it really did I really did a crappy job on it like but at least it but at least it shows that with the machine at 110 115 amps it's, it's ready to blow all the way through it it's ready to you know like the machines working so you see in the first the first time I did it I had it was pretty much like flush maybe a little bit less than flush so I went over to try to get it up above it with this all I'm gonna do is take a cut off wheel and cut it somewhere about right here and then use uh, this navel jelly I think it's phosphoric acid this is supposed to work but I've never done it so we'll see if I'm not mistaken that's the weld nugget that kind of goes like that very little penetration there but it looks like it kind of dug in I guess I'm going to go ahead and put some more uh, navel jelly on it and see if I could get it to come out more and just take pictures of it and put it in the video. I do want to mention that I'm not a professional welder and I'm just kind of learning on my own. As, as you can see on, on uh, this plate, but from what I can tell, it's not the machine's fault. It's working, it's melting, it's starting to arc really good and all that kind of stuff. It's just that I'm really not that great of a welder, but... I've decided not to do a bend test on this because it's just too much work and it's a bad example. And then the video will be too long. So I'm going to say that that generator will run that machine. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please like and subscribe. The end.